Don't forget to check out and grab your copy of our two newly released books, Football, A Love Story, and What Did Football Teach Me? These books feature over 100 stories from current and former coaches, players, executives, and entertainers from across the football landscape describing what got them involved in the game, what they love about it, and what life lessons the game taught them. You can find your copy or order your copy from our website at footballgameplan.com slash books. Welcome to footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, here at the 2016 Yale Bulldog Pro Day, where a bevy of NFL draft prospects, both from Yale and other local universities, worked out in front of NFL coaches, scouts, and personnel decision makers. Now let's take a look at some of the sights, some of the sounds, and also a recap from today's workouts. Yale held its pro day today, and a good bit of NFL scouts were on hand at the Connecticut Sportsplex to observe 10 NFL draft hopefuls go through a series of tests and drills. The headliner of the group was quarterback Morgan Roberts, the 6'3", 200-pound Roberts who finished his Bulldog career as the all-time career passing leader, leader in total offense, completion percentage, and also passing touchdowns, had a very good workout, both in the explosiveness and agility testing, and also the 40-yard dash. I thought he showed above average athleticism. The former Clemson Tiger transfer excelled in the throwing period. That's where you saw the quick release. In my opinion, Roberts does a great job in getting the football out of his hands quickly and is also able to drive the football extremely well on the short and intermediate routes. UConn linebacker Graham Stewart was another prospect in attendance that had an excellent workout. Stewart jumped 37 and a half inches on the vertical and looked very fluid in position drills. The athleticism and agility he showed today is exactly what you see on film from him. Good sideline to sideline player, in my opinion, that'll be a very solid backer in the NFL. Max Natsowitz from Division III Springfield College was one of the more versatile players here in attendance. The three-time All-American, including football game plan All-American, in my opinion, can play all three backer spots, strong safety, and even fullback, which he worked out at here as well. Running back John Moscatel out of Southern Connecticut State definitely opened some eyes here as he showed tremendous explosiveness with a 30-inch vertical jump with an impressive shuttle and broad jump as well. Wide receiver Connor Falaguerra out of Western Connecticut State. I timed at a 4-5-4 in the 40-yard dash and also looked very well in the L shuttle drills. And his teammate outside linebacker Tyler Harris I thought did a great job in positional drills. Sacred Hearts Connor Cavani showed good hands in bag drills but moved pretty well in his shuttle workout. I was also impressed with what I saw from New Haven linebacker Matt Zakarwazeski who saw work at fullback as well. And defensive back Chris Abner out of Central Connecticut State was another standout in positional drills as he did a great job in tracking the football while showing fluidity in weave drills and popping out of his breaks. So in conclusion, it was a very good day overall for these prospects at the Connecticut Sportsplex working out in front of many different NFL scouts. For more of our NFL draft coverage, visit our website at footballgameplan.com draft.